All right, everybody, welcome back. Happy Tuesday. I'm meteorologist Lena Joukowsky. Dan Brown is off today. So 2020 is actually going to be uh, rounding out on an end here, mainly dry and quiet at least. Blustery and colder today. That's mainly because of the wind chills, not the actual temperatures. Tomorrow we'll see more in the way of clouds, but we'll see seasonable temperatures as well. Talked about that brief clipper system passing through overnight Wednesday into Thursday. Not much in the way of accumulation from that. That's the weaker of the two storms here. But of course, Friday is the day to watch as ice, rain, and wind will be impacting Western Massachusetts for the first day of 2021. So highs today on uh, either side of really kind of 34, 35. And you might look at that and say, well, that's not too bad for December, right? We've got mostly sunny skies, some clouds out there. But again, the problem is the wind. So you factor in the wind chill, and then here's what things are currently feeling like outside teens and 20s that's the story for today now overnight tonight into tomorrow the uh, winds are going to persist at least for the earlier part of the night but then they're going to go calm after midnight you pair that with the clear skies and this is the perfect setup for radiational cooling we talk about this all the time so some locations could bottom out in the upper lower uh, upper, upper single digits and then the rest of us are going to be bottoming out in the teens now the good news about the clear sky at least is we've got our last and final full moon of 2020 uh, surprisingly not occurring on New Year's Eve but it is going to be occurring this evening about 10 30 p.m. it's referred to as the cold moon I think no surprises there. It is, of course, after all, December. It's also referred to as the long night moon because it occurs so close to the winter solstice. Now, heading into tomorrow, no real weather concerns, just kind of a typical December day. It's actually going to feel pretty pleasant because we've got southwesterly flow returning, temperatures hovering around seasonable for this time of year, which is 37 degrees. And we'll see more in the way of clouds, but it stays dry at least for the day. That storm system holds off until the evening hours. So this is a storm system that right now is impacting the central plains, bringing them some snow, some freezing rain and mixing, uh, and also some rain as well. But by the time it gets to us, it's going to weaken, and this is going to pass pretty quickly here. It's just a clipper system so we're not going to see too much accumulation from this overnight Wednesday into Thursday and then actually most of New Year's Eve day is looking to be dry but cloudy now as we head towards midnight here the ball is dropping rain is not though clear skies so again radiational cooling is going to be taking place and we have this building area of Canadian high pressure why does that matter? Because it impacts the next storm system that comes our way for New Year's Day. The high pressure pulls down that colder air, and then the radiational cooling drops surface temperatures too. So when this next storm system moves our way, it's going to be starting as freezing rain, or at least that's what it's looking like for now. Now, the central area of low pressure is well off to the northwest. So as the system moves on through, it's looking like it's going to switch to rain. We've got warm air advection and southerly flow. So the rain lingers on Saturday here, but it's going to be moving out right around... Uh, Noon time here, we'll be drying things out and clearing things up. Actually, the later part of uh, Saturday doesn't look to be too bad. Now, freezing rain, of course, is going to cause some problems on the roadways. So at this point, I would plan to stay off the roads for Friday evening. Could turn things into a skating rink, of course, treacherous conditions. That's not really something you want to be driving around in. The other thing is you don't need a whole lot of freezing rain to cause problems. You'll get a quarter inch of accumulation. That's not a lot when we're talking rain or snow. It is when we're talking ice. Ice is heavier. It's denser. You get a little bit on those power lines and tree limbs. It's already going to start causing problems. So something to watch, be mindful of. And, uh, you know, of course, as we head into Saturday, the good news is that warm air advection is going to send temperatures near 50. And then after that, as we head into 2021, we'll be returning to seasonable, dry and quiet conditions that hopefully will remain. Taylor, back over to you. All right. Hopefully 